Right, okay, 5,000. Thanks everybody for signing up to the six week lockdown home program. I'm not the most tech savvy person, but I am learning, we're getting better. Hopefully the app is um, everything that you expect it to be um, and beyond with the service that we're going to provide through it. Um, there will be something for everybody in the, in the six week program um, from beginners um, to more advanced athletes or people that have been going to the gym for a long time. There will be equipment options of the version or versions of the workout and um, non-equipment versions and then limited equipment so if you only have one or two kettlebells or dumbbells as well but i would say if you don't have any equipment at all grab a school bag put some books in it and that's gonna um, be a big help to you for some of the workouts over the next couple of weeks as well today's workout um, it's going to be a non-equipment workout so everybody is going to be doing the same one it is quite tough as they all will be um, and then we'll scale it back as you need to. So what, what we have on the whiteboard um, is going to be pretty much the RX version or the high level of the, of the workout and then from there we have scaled versions so everybody can um, work at your own fitness level really. We will go through, we'll go through the workout from here then I'll have a video as well underneath of the warm-up and the workout flow but just to explain it first so everybody knows what you're doing we don't need any equipment just one round so you're going through each exercise just for time we're going to start off with 100 mountain climbers with the mountain climbers um, you can scale them back so 100 is going to be quite a lot we can scale them back we're going to go for anywhere between 50 and 100 mountain climbers depending on your fitness level with the mountain climbers it's both knees in and out, it's going to be one rep. We want to stay leaning forward, I'll explain that as I'm doing them, so your shoulders are over the wrists all the time when you're in your push-up position. We don't want you spending longer than three minutes trying to get through 100 mountain climbers. So if you're at like maybe 60, 70 and three minutes are hitting, um, then you've probably enough done at that stage. So just move on, maybe try to hit the 60, 70 in around that number again for the next two rounds. After your mountain climbers, you're going to be into push-ups. 30 push-ups, so it's going to be quite a lot. Your shoulders and arms, wrists, everything is going to be taxed already from holding the mountain climber position. Um, and we want full range of movement on the push-ups. So when you're going down, you're tapping your chest off the ground and back up. We have a couple of different versions, again, that we go through in the scale videos. Um, where are we here? So you can do push-ups from the knees. Raise push-ups, you can do push-ups against a table or a chair or something that's a little bit higher, or we could do shoulder taps. So don't worry if you think, oh shit, you can't do push-ups, um, we'll be fine. You can scale it back a little bit, and we can also reduce the reps if needs be. 30 toes to hands, so it's a core exercise, you'll see it in the video. Again, we'll have different um, scaled versions of it, so everybody is it's manageable for everybody. With your push-ups, I would say even from the start to break them into small sets because it's going to get really tough in the arms and the shoulders um, and make sure that you're getting a full range of movement. That's the most important thing on that one. With your toes to hands, I want you to make sure that we're keeping tension all the way through this exercise. So when we're bringing, you'll be lying on your back, bringing your toes up to try and reach your hands overhead and then back to the ground. We want to make sure that your lower back is flat to the ground all the time as well, especially on that way back down. So keep them slow and controlled. It's not going to be a fast workout. You're not going to be banging out a load of reps at one time um, and finishing the whole thing in like five minutes or six minutes. It will take up to 20 minutes to get through the guts of this workout. Um, what else have we got on this one? Yeah, scaling the toes to hands. We can bring it right back down. Just getting your knees to your chest instead of trying to reach your hands. Leg extensions, two feet out and in from your hips. And then single leg extensions, just going one leg at a time. That's going to be the workout, that's it explained. I will have a flow of the workout as well. And then we'll go through your warm up and the exercises in another video.